In yesterday's devotion, we looked at some of the wrong views um, that we can have about temptation. So today, we're going to stay in that same verse, but we are going to look at how we can endure uh, temptation, and we're going to grab a hold of a couple promises that we receive. So let's dive in. We're going to read 1 Corinthians 10, 13 as we continue our entire week focusing on the theme of overcoming temptation. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So there are two aspects of temptation in this verse um, that are really important for our time together today. The first is that God will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear. And second, that God will provide a way out, a way of escape um, amidst a temptation that we may endure it. Now, in regards to God not letting us uh, be tempted beyond what we can bear, I think it's important to understand the promise, right? The promise isn't that we won't uh, feel like we are tempted beyond what we can bear. That's not the promise, right? The promise is that we won't be tempted beyond what we can bear. I know for me, there have been numerous times in my life where in the moment, I have felt that whatever trial I'm going through is way too much for me to deal with. And it has felt crushing. It has felt way more than I can bear. I think part of the reason I have felt like this, and, and perhaps you have too, is I'm looking ahead to what I think is going to happen. Right? In other words, I am looking to receive grace today for tomorrow's trials, rather than being content with receiving grace today for today's trials. Right? I am not promised a grace today for tomorrow's problems. And therefore, part of embracing that promise is that I stay in the moment of today with the current temptation. Now, let me interject another thought in regards to God not letting us be tempted beyond what we can bear, right? The exact extent that you and I are able to endure and others are able to endure, it differs from one another depending upon right, the exact nature of the temptation, depending upon where we're at in our faith, depending upon the different trials we've endured in the past, and numerous other factors. And so let us resist the temptation to compare ourselves to others, to either feel superior or to feel crushed by feeling inferior, right? God has, God knows what each person can bear, and that's different. Now, when it comes to the, the way of escape, the way out that God provides in our temptations, right, I think if we're honest, at least for me, sometimes I don't want to see the way of escape, the way out that God provides in a temptation, because sometimes I might enjoy giving in to the temptation, right? And therefore, sometimes our ability to see has been purposely clouded, our ability to see the way out of the temptation. For instance, when it's late at night, and I am hungry, and I'm driving home, and I'm getting off the freeway. If I turn left, I'm at Chick-fil-A. And if I turn right, I'm in my home eating out of my refrigerator. In that moment, I don't want to see how easy it is to turn right. Now, God is not in the business of putting us on a one-way street with a dead end into temptation. Instead, he offers us side streets that we can turn down so that we can resist and endure. So let me leave you with these two questions. What is a current area of temptation in your life? And then second, what is a way of escape that he offers so that you may endure?